What's up, everybody? After some hiccups, hiccups being Hunter chewing on his bone, or his toy, and making excessive squeaking, we're going to do some chaos drafting. Kerwit wanted us to do some chaos drafting the other day. He was like, you got to do some chaos drafting? And I was like, I don't know, that's all right. I always like it when I do it, but I'm never excited about it. Does that make sense? Thank you. Like, I'm never like, yes, Chaos Draft is up. I'm going to do like 20 Chaos Drafts. But when I do Chaos Draft, I always, I'm always kind of cool. It's always, it's always all right. So, you know. Let's join. Oh, wow, that was quick. That was quick. Fungal Behemoth. Oh, we got a pack of Planar Chaos. Fascinating. I can't zoom in on this pack, really? That's weird. Thank okay. You. Well, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot how weird it is drafting on Magic Online now. Uh, okay. I'll go like this, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Garrett, thank you for the thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. A Demented Wombat, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate you guys. Welcome back, my dudes. I mean, Malak of the Dawn's fine, but triple white to regenerate is pretty rough. Wood Readers is nice. <sighs> Suspend X. You put a one-one counter on a creature. I don't think that's very good. I think the angel is probably the best pick. Gossamer Phantasm is cute, but like, you can't even, it just dies. Rift Watcher is decent. Rough Tumble is interesting. I think it's Malak of the Dawn. Oh, Philly Dilly, thank you for the bits, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, we'll take a Malak. Or a Touched Mage could be interesting. Also, I love a good Ravnica. We're in. We're in Ravnica land now. Ravnica land. Oh, uh, let me, uh, I feel like I can be scooted over a little bit. Can I just move the camera towards me? Oh, the other way? Yeah, that seems better, right? Yeah, let's do that. Good for me. Demir Infiltrator, Brain Spoil. Brain Spoil is pretty good. <sighs> Just kills anything. It's five mana. I don't think the Brain Spoil. And uh, thankfully, there's no good white cards that I missed. But also, unthankfully, Legions is a pretty bad set. Hmm. Uh, it's all it's literally slivers right one two three four there's four slivers in this pack this pack is terrible this set is terrible right and it's literally just gray ogre i think this guy gets for eight mana Ugh, god this guy regenerates tap regenerate that's not terrible Man, back to back creature says Burnt and Forge Tender is interesting. Judge of Currents. I wish the art would show up. That'd be nice. Uh, one thing you have to do is like get yourself out of the mindset that you're drafting the, the pack you're in, right? Like I'm like, I'm not in Lorwyn. So I want I don't want to take like a you know, whenever your player casts a goblin spell, pay a Pay a green, you know, like it's not going to be relevant. So you kind of just want to take a card that's generically good, which is probably Tarfire. Oh man, got some Oath of the Gate Watch. Top aided that Pro Tour. Top, tap an untapped ally you control, tap target creature. See again. <laughs> It's like we're just not going to have any allies. Whenever you cast a color spell, this gets plus one, plus zero. So at its best, it's probably a 2-2 two, two flyer for two. Like, okay. Time on untap ally. It's all ally-based. Oh, God. They should probably take packs like this out of Chaos Draft. I kind of just want the Lantern. What's your favorite set to get in Chaos Draft? That's actually a good question. I have no idea. This is not... I have not thought of that nearly enough. I'm just taking the Lantern. It's the most unexciting thing ever. I think it's hard to say because, like, you want to pick a set that's, like, 
uh, individually, like independently powerful that doesn't rely on, you know, inner set synergies, energies, if you will. Could just be two two with a flicked one, like. Sure. Creeping dread. Each player discards a card. Any opponent can't. Oh, each at the beginning of your upkeep, each player each player discards a card. Each opponent discards a card that shares a card type with the card you discard and loses. That's terrible. Menace is former card type, so it's menace if, as long as you have delirium. I mean, it's still probably the best card in the pack. Creatures you control getting plus two, plus one is not bad, but. Whatever. It's not looking great for us. Might have to abandon the white and, and, and look for something else, which I think is fine. Yeah, no. Um. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays two. I mean, you have to keep four mana up for that. Gain four, gain six, draw a card. See again, champions is also see. Look now, it's like the booster is. It's still this, but it's like so. There's nobody to know. Like, it doesn't matter. I guess this pack is just terrible as well. Hey, even Rift Watcher is probably the best card in this pack. Um, yeah. <sighs> Nothing good here. Shambling Shell is actually pretty sweet. All slivers get plus O plus one. <laughs> oh boy. One one provoke. Three four for six when it turns face of beast creatures you control get plus three plus O, including itself, so it's a six four. That one turn for seven mana. Oh boy. None of these cards are any good. Don't be don't don't be confused. This was a rough pack one. Like I'm really hoping that pack two turns around. Uh, Oath of Eldrazi was Oath of El, Oath of Oath of the Gate Watch was was Eldrazi Winter yes. Oh, a stomping ground. You're going to pick a stomping ground for me in this phantom draft? It's definitely Pillory of the Sleepless. But a, a strong argument can be made for Orzhov Basilica as well. I mean, Pillory is just premier removal. Ba-da-da-da. <laughs> Okay, Pristine Talisman is better than Seer's Lantern, I think. This guy's a 4 mana 5 4 with Trample if you want to pay 4 life. Shannon Creature can attack. Guess Verdict. 
It's definitely Enslave. Yeah, Enslave is top tier. I will definitely steal your guy and uh, make you take damage each turn. Uh, when a player gains life, that player loses two life for each one life they gained. No. Man, all the shitty Onslaught sets are... <laughs> our packs are here. Uh, Chain creatures protect from black and from red. Chain creature and other creatures that share a creature type with the game pro black and red. Gets plus two, plus four until end of turn. I mean, that's just a fine trick, I guess. Our deck is looking very, very unimpressive right now. Beloved Chaplain is decent, but it's a 1-1, one -one, so it's not like a huge threat. I kind of like Ormancer because we already have Pillory, and we could play Enslave and also uh, the Crown of All. I think Ormancer is actually pretty decent here. Maybe the Patriarch's Desire comes back? What if we take Desire as a removal spell and Oromancer comes back? That would be nice. Since this is removal and Oromancer is just kind of a crappy 2-2, I feel like that's uh, more likely. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. But I mean, like, the people you're playing against may have had better set packs than you. But on the other hand, like, in a regular draft, people can have just better regular packs than you. So it's not that much different. Thank you. JoJo MKE, thank you so much for the resub. 30 months, that's a good amount of time. Keeping me sane in the Trump years, I guess. <laughs> it's all you can really ask for. Oh, God. This good grief, man. Good grief. Um, when eventual dead or another zombie dies, each opponent loses one. Sure. Wow, so we've literally seen Onslaught Legions and Scourge. That's terrible. Thank you. Badger with his 1,000th and one sub. Never one to rest on his laurels. <laughs> oh, man. Badger, I appreciate you, buddy. I mean, Skulltap is just a really old Reaper, right? Like, it's just... This is very common ability to the sack a creature and draw two. Unfortunately, nowadays, it's instant speed. Alms Beast. Huh. I mean, it's still a 6-6 six, six for four. It gives their guys lifelink. So if they block with like a two four four as your guy just dies and like they get to gain eight. Ugh. So yikes for me, dog. That being said, it's still probably the best card in the pack. Um Debtor's Transport's actually fine. Five three for six that gets two one ones after it dies? Sure. Front all damage one or two target creatures would deal this turn. One or two. Up to you. I mean, that could definitely be a decent trick. Vector Asp is a one for one. I mean, if it gained Death Touch, it'd be fine, but if it just gaining Infect is not super impressive. Did you see the clip I sent you through Facebook? Not yet. I'll, I'll actually I'll check it out and I'll show Katie too. Uh, whenever another creature enters Mother Foot's controller, there's one life. Creatures that you control that are enchanted get plus one, plus one. When there's a battlefield, may return an equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, I'm good. I, You know what? It's still probably better than Loxodon Convert, though, so. This deck is bad. It needs a lot. 
This is like the worst chaos draft I've ever done. Uh, this is just the draft screen, Josh. Nothing else looks like this. <sighs> sure, I'll take this trick. I don't know what this does, actually. It uh, becomes an XX wall. <laughs> Alright, you lost me there. Uh, you know what? Sure. Oh, God. What is it? A, it's just an, X en a, a, an enchantment for one white that just can become a 5-5? Five five? Good lord, man. Good grief. It's a high quality designs in this in this stage of magic. Make it a wall. These are both bad. Sure. Yep. All right. Yep. I really wish I could see my sideboard cards the same way I can see my main deck cards. Like, I really don't like this layout. But, what are you going to do? Each player's life total becomes the lowest life total among all players. So if you're losing, your opponent just loses some life. I, I should have actually pivoted into Storm. You're right. I blame myself. Skittering Invasion, five zero ones for seven mana. No, I don't like that. Thank you. Cyborg Yui with the resub, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Meh. Target black and creature with power three or less. Ulamog's Crusher, also an option since we did take Temple of the False God. I actually think this is probably the pick. Crusher is indeed a monster. Dun, dun, bam, bam. Beans and cornbread. Target black non black creature gets neg one, neg one until in a turn. If you have threshold, instead kill it. I want to move my phone. Uh, whenever this attacks and isn't blocked, if any player loses life for each card in their graveyard, it has fear. I mean, what if they got like three cards and is a three four fear for five? It's actually not terrible. And then Dang. we have 1-1. One, one. Phantom Nomad. Wallodil, 74 months, dude. That's wild. That doesn't seem like a real amount of time. I think we're just taking the Guild Feeder. Five mana, 0-4. Oh, That's right, buddy. That's right. This guy has Vigilance as long as you control a gate. Oh, wow. We definitely have a gates. Wait, no. We don't. It's, it's Chaos Draft. And it's the only card that's even remotely playable for us. So, we'll take that. Oh, Absent Banner. That's two of our colors. Of our two colors. We have two colors. It's, it's both the colors. Let's go them all. Basically all our colors. I, I think it's actually... Yeah, that seems fine, actually. I mean, we're never going to draw the card from it, but... Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> if you control no tap lands, put two 1 1 counters on it. So you basically just want to tap three dudes for it, and it's a 5 4. I think Charm is fine. I mean, as far as Modern Horizons packs go, that was not the most impressive. Baffling End. Strider Harness doesn't seem terrible, actually, right? Hmm. 
That's gotta be baffling in there. The Ormancer also did not come back, unfortunately. Gotta be Legion Conquistador. Uh, each player sacks a creature. When it enters the battle for return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh yeah. We didn't get the Ormancer, but we did get some Lotus Eye Mystics. That's actually pretty sweet. That worked out quite well. Timoret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aura spells cost us one less to cast. We have Enslave. We have Patriarch's Desire. Pillory. I'm actually going to take the 2-2. Two -two, though the 1-2. And we're just living the... Oh, and Puncturing Light came back? Huh. Okay. We have a bunch of early removal. <laughs> Print all damage that sources the cho the color you're supposed to deal. Sacrifice Cabal Trainee. Neg two. Just take Destroy Enchantment. Uh, Centaur Healer is fine if we ever had a... Actually, Ab with the Abzan banner, we can actually play Healer or Shambling Shell, I think. It's not terrible. Take Abomination. At worst, Abomination is a 2-2 two, two for 3. Good, 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 good. Not super sold on this guy. I think I get him getting Menace is pretty dece. I'll take a Knight of Old Benalia. I think Crypt Sliver is probably pretty trash, but I guess it just blocks and... Take out Soul Parry. Um, I mean, this guy's a 3-4, right? 3-3? Three, three. This guy's trash. Yeah, Badger, I think traditional historic is three rounds. Regular historic is like best of one. I think this is probably okay. 8-8? Eight, eight? Sure, let's do it. Knight of Old Ben. Beans, not cornbread, it's all right. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Wow. Nailed it. Man, Katie didn't even tell me it was Wednesday. I just expected her to say, you know, that that it was Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> okay, uh, she said it. Good times. Good times. Everything is all right. Up tight. Out of sight. It 
really does. That's true about the, the Jitte Umazawa's Jitte. You're like, oh, wow, the charm is a card. Sure. Yeah, Umazawa's charm is a card that does literally one single activation of Jitte. And you're like, yeah, I'll play that in limited, sure. And every hit with Jitte gets you two charms that you pay zero for. It's a wild world, man. I've been ready. It is when, dude, my day. What's it going on top of the library? Oh, it goes on top and then they shuffle it. They give it a shuff. I'll trade. I'll trade Vortex for this guy. No? Okay. The question is, do I play this guy now? I probably just actually cast him next turn. Because five suspend turns is a lot, and we have nothing to do next turn, so. These Triscuits are making me thirsty! <laughs> it's a solid Seinfeld reference. Uh, this creature has one damage to any target, and this creature has three damage to target werewolf, so it just shoots for a point. Sure. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm attacking for three. I want the world to know. Yeah, Jitte was in the Rat's Nest starter deck. <laughs> oh, wizards. You crazy. Necropede. This costs five to equip? Wow. And this is just a 2-2 two -two Dirt Burgle? Hmm. One, two, three. Let's pillory this dude. Let's get in there. I mean, our hand is very good and they have one card, so. Uh, it can probably still tap to an effect, yeah. I, I, I can't... I, I imagine if they want to spend five and equip that thing. Oh, I did not see them suspend this Mind Stab Thrall. Oh, boy. Remember that time I was like, our hand is still very good. Hmm. Well. Interesting. Ah, oh, yikes. Well, so long, three good cards. I guess we just kill this. I mean, it's either that or play Armory Guard. And, like, this is going to get rid of one of our guys anyway, so I'd rather just deal four here. I'm trying to figure out which one to do it on. 
It's gotta be the Kenra because then you can kill it next turn. Yep, there you go. We figured it out. Go, Ben, go. You gotta just gotta believe. Which is it's gonna Magic Online's gonna ask me which cards I want to discard. Yep, there you go. Cool. I don't know, Magic. All of them? All of them in my hand? Old Ben is like the Kobe Bryant of your deck? No, man, he's still alive. They haven't killed him yet. Too soon? Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand back on top of your Librario. Crypt Sliver. I mean, I think they block here and shoot here, and then they take one... Sliver really showing how bad he is when I had a hand like this. I think we still gotta get in there. They have no cards in hand, so. Okay, so they go to two, and then they're probably going to kill their own Necropede. You know what? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. This game's gonna be close, and surprisingly, it might have been a mistake to put the to put the pillory on the neck repeat. pass here. See if they want to kill their own guy. I bet they do. So long, Necropede. Wait, what? They shot us? Oh god, do you think they're just not seeing it? They have to kill it, right? Oh god. Oh, they have Mirror in the Moaning Well now. But then they have to put counter on their own Sidraxis Alchemist, which is pretty funny.
You think it's Peary? Pillory. Disagree. Disagree. What is happening right now? What? They sacked this guy instead? This is all strange. This is wild. Are they going to try to race us? I'm like... Yeah, that guy's pretty good. They put two cards on top, so let's see if they're any good. Because they know what they have now. <laughs> they're like, well, the two cards I put are not good enough to beat 8-8. Eight, eight. Nice. Enchantment. Just from black and red. Yeah, we really have nothing good in our sideboard. I wish I had a way to destroy artifacts, not just enchantments, but you know, that's life, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, expedition map. More like expedition crap, am I right? <laughs> okay. Look at this guy. Oh four for five. They do have a lot of artifacts in their deck though. I have to assume fear is not going to be uh, quite as good. I mean, I'm just going to block here. If you have a pump spell to get rid of my 1-2 flyer, then knock yourself out. Now I'll get you. So one black mana lets us go four, five, six, which is pretty nice. And we don't need it. We have to just have to draw it in the next two turns. What you gonna do? Let's see on you. Vortex elemental. Oh no. All of my guys fly. Nailed it. Oh, they're gonna counter this? With some sort of random counter spell? Sure. And they got nothing back? Okay. Now not all of my guys fly. Sad thing is if we attack with Guilt Feeder and then inspirit it, it still can't kill the Voltaic Servant. Pirate's Cutlass, plus two, plus one. Sure. Should have killed you when I had the chance. Hmm. No? 
least it blocks, right? Got that going for us. Main phase, search for the land, huh? Thoughtseize is an appalling card. I agree with you completely. That was a great, was a great way to put it. Let's just play this guy again. Not our guilt feeder. No. So, next time we can brain spoil the servant, attack them for four with the guilt feeder? It's not bad. Never mind. Pirate's Cutlass is actually very good. Okay, well, that's a thing. Oh, actually, if we get rid of this guy, this doesn't have flying. But we still have to find a way to deal with it in the future, right? So... If six. Seven would be great. No, this, costs, this is not an aura. It doesn't cost one. Dang it. That is unfortunate. We can baffling into this guy, and if they block, we can... Yeah, let's do that. Sit on you. Sit, sit, sit. I sit on you. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Because now we put an extra card in the graveyard, they have no artifacts to block Guild Feeder. We still have Brain Spoil for the Alchemist. Or we can just play Big Fat Debtor's Transport and block it. Make two flyers. <laughs> Never mind. Oh god. I have discarded a total of six cards in these two games. But they didn't attack. Oh, because of yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty good.
Sure. That's relatively good, all things considered. I mean, I guess they have it's just another divination, right? Man, I wish I had a removal spell for this alchemist. I guess I have puncturing. Thank right? you, Tigernate. Thirty months, man. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Boy, this is a hell of a scry. Yeah, I mean, like, there's just, there wasn't much to say, I guess. So I was, like, being quiet, but, oh. Fascinating. Seems good. All right. Well. What you gonna do us through is on you. Yeah, we definitely have to deal with this guy. So next time we're going to be... They go to three. I do sit so incredibly still. Are they just going to like... Some sort of black spell that deals us three and they gain three? Oh, wow. So they drew three? Okay. Sure. Yep. All right. Let's just go to the next game. Cool. Is it loading? Cool. Okay. M. Northcott, I think that's literally the exact reference they're making. Only that was not from Infinity War. I'm pretty sure that was for... Isn't that Guardians 2? It was Infinity War. Dang it. I tip my hat to you, good sir. I feel like I should have known that. Now I feel bad. Uh, Crown of All? Pro Black? Sure. It's gotta be better than like Crypt Sliver, right? More like Shit Sliver. Not even knowing every de looking super crispy. What does that mean? Are we talking about my visual face? What you gonna do? I see it on you. Actually, I think Banner might be better. Seer, my Lantern might be better than Banner, and just in general. So we're definitely gonna get Creature, Instant, and Enchantment in the graveyard. Hound of the Fodder Bugs. No, your auditory face. Well, he didn't say my regular face. I hate you. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend anymore.
Get him. You got it. Oh, did they not hit a land? After divinating? Divinazione? This guy will not have vigilance in our story. They have no black mana. An actual robot chicken? This? It's close. This is a bug, right? That's an insect. That's pretty good. This is a good card. One on top, one on bottom. What you tightening coils? Okay, you got it. Goodbye. Arrivederci. play this dog zombie dog it's not a hound anymore Div Nate, I barely knew Nate. Dang. Oh, you got a 2 5 as well. Well, that's just beautiful. Uh, no, it's just going to be 2. Put it on this guy. Attack with my boys. Do you take. No, yeah. Put him in front of the bus. He's gonna die today. He's a little bug boy. Okay, well. Man. Peary of, of the Sleepless is real good. Peary. As they say. Oh man, they named Voltaic Servant to draw to. Unbelievable. It's like they knew he was coming. When I logged in to watch it said teen for mild violence in language, I was super interested. But realized it was a game. You're like, oh, sweet, mild violence. Oh, wait, they're just talking about this advertisement, not the actual stream. Well, awkwardly, Vortex Elemental is pretty frustrating here. Huh. How do we get a fourth card? Like, like if we could crack this somehow, that would be cool. So we're a creature enchantment in an instant. We would have to get an artifact or a sorcery in there, which we don't actually have access to. I really don't.
I don't think there's any way of puncturing like this in response to its trigger, right? Put forward some nature to block. Yeah, like, I mean, it doesn't need does to be in play to resolve it, so. No, I don't think it needs both. Vortex elemental removed. If I have vortex elemental blocking a creature can I activate its first ability and then while it's on the stack bounce it with a quickling. Yes, and the creature does blocking will still be put on the top and then shuffled due to the ability using the vortex on those last information and it's no longer on the battlefield. Yeah, it doesn't care. It doesn't it doesn't care about it. Oh, get a load of Huh. So they can go two two and one three on on here, vortex elemental on here. That would actually be fine. Looks like we made it. Hmm. Okay. They're at three. We have 15 minutes. They have five minutes. In case you guys are curious how much longer they've been taking. We're at 22, they're at 2, and they have a pillory. God, they still have a mirror in, though. Like, they just get to gain 5 at any time, so never mind. We can't actually win with that. But then I guess they do have to win in 4 minutes. Necroplead plus Wolf Hunter's Quiver is actually pretty frustrating, and I wish I had an answer for it. Sack it right now, I bet. What? They didn't sack this? That's weird. Come on, brain spoil one time. Nevada fails. Wish I could discard a land. That would be nice. I'm just gonna walk a necropede. And the Drake. Uh -huh. 
Well, you open three random boosters, and then you draft them, so. Ugh, God, Moran the Moaning Wall is just super frustrating here. I mean, they have two minutes and 35 seconds. Like, it's really kind of obnoxious that they're taking this long. Like, this is round one, and it's taking an hour. Oh, boy. Just this guy, huh? Well, not going to block here. We're still at a point where every point of damage could, could mean the difference between actually winning this game and not winning this game. It's nice that they have this trigger, they have to activate this, they have this trigger. There's lots of things happening, so. Oh. That's interesting. Hmm. What does that get back? Thank you. It gets back pillory? That's gotta be good. Gamma set 21 months, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. I think I sack. Oh, they did it during our turn? I could not be more excited about that. I guess we'll play this. Mystics, get back pillory. Oh boy, so they at least take one, then they get to gain six, but then they have like no pressure and they have to win in a minute and 50 seconds. So, I guess that's a thing. I was assuming I'd have to wait till like next turn to do this because they're gonna sack at the end of our turn. It's pretty good. <sighs> wow. Well, <laughs> it's in my face, I guess. Four, five, six, seven. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Man, this guy arrives just on time every time. So, that's cool. Oh man, Ula Mog's Crusher. Pernicious dude, anytime, buddy. Anytime. Ula Mog's Crusher, guys. Good lord. Yeah, let's put Lantern in over Banner. I don't think we're going to have any color issues. <sighs> How you doing out there? Good. Okay. Guys, if you haven't done so, go check out my article on Cool Stuff Inc. today about uh, the Mono Black Devotion deck we played in Historic. You can find it at the following link. So go go enjoy yourselves. Go have a little. Uh, go do a little. Go do a little reading. Oh, we gotta hit the play button. I'm like, man, why is this match taking so long to fire? Man, Ulamog's Crusher is no joke, dude. Everybody scoops on sight to Aldrazi. Let me tell you. Thank you. Old Man Silver, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Do, 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 do.
Old man silver with almost two years. Good grief. Come on, let's go. Come on, Magic the Gathering. All right, we did it. Playing against Cleet. Um, I'm gonna keep this. It's two lands. Any black source is very, very good for us. We got this guy coming down. Come on, black source. Black source lets us play Kenra. Turn three, we don't have a play. I guess we just need a bunch of black. We need like four, four lands after this. Four lands in a row. We're so good at it. So good at it. Sometimes you just get to live the dream, guys. I hope everybody gets this. Gets to gets, gets to experience this once. As long as it's your turn, it's a thing. If it's not your turn, it's a different thing. You think it's one way, but it ain't. Well, I'm not gonna attack. I think my guy's just better. And I think this guy's actually, uh... I'll oh, thank you for pausing in two years. I remember this video well. You paused it for us. Rancid Earth. Okay. Well, hope you feel good about yourself. You can't activate this unless... Oh, wow. For some reason, I thought Temple of False Gods is add one, add two if you control five or more lands. Wow. That's... Not great. So now we need to draw Black Source, Black Source. And then we're actually... And then we just win the game. Man, I was going to windmill slam the Sears Lantern too, dude? Sure. Okay, you know what? It's still a land. I ain't going to look a gift land in the mouth. What is this you're doing? Sure. You got it. I'm Michael Jordan on the YouTube. Yeah, I, f I figured you were Michael Jordan because that's that's your name. I'm Frank Lepore on the YouTubes. You can tell because that's my name. Okay, well, it's not ideal. It's other creatures? You can't even buff yourself, you idiot. Oh my god. What an absolute trombone head. You'll never know if I'm a replicant or not. I'll never tell, and you'll never find out. I'll take that shit to my grave. To my replicant grave. Is it a factory? You don't know. And I'll never tell. Well, yo, man, I'm glad I didn't draw you. Because you suck. If I go two and tap, we get a swamp. We can still play this, which I think is probably pretty good. I'm not going to just hope I randomly draw a swamp. Oh, yeah, but you're on top. Give it to me. Killing all the things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
play this fat. They have one card in hand. Oh, that's great for us. I guess they can make a sack this guy, but like we get two one ones and they they're just gonna make a sack whatever we play next day anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Sure. I mean it's not great, but the alternative is not playing anything. And that seems worse. Okay, one, two, three, four. Hmm. We don't have a second black for enslave. I kind of want to get it back though. I guess I guess I have to like play it on a creature. It's all to do. I'm definitely tempted to baffling end this guy. I mean, I'm just tired of taking two a turn, and we don't have profitable blocks, so. Now we're in the driver's seat, as they say. Thank you. Primaris Powerhouse, welcome back, buddy. 19 schmeckles. <laughs> it's a good amount of schmeckles. Oh, this guy? This old chestnut? God, can you play a good creature? Sarah's before counters on a creature, sure. Wait, what? What? We put a quest counter. So, when this has f remove a quest counter, oh, oh, make this guy big so I can enslave it. This, whenever a creature deals combat damage to a creature, we put a quest counter, sure. Remove, remove a quest counter, put four counters on a creature. Yeah, that's fine. Chess guy historic, two zero in bronze. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'll never begrudge you for, for your rank, because I know the feeling of hanging out in the low areas. Two, three, four, five. So we don't want to attack because they can do this at instant speed. Doggy, play the little doggy. Alternatively, we could have just attacked with both and inspirited this guy. No attack, huh? Okay. What does this do? But you're not going to put it on your guy. Whenever cool creature deals combat damage to a player, crit a treasure. Sure, that's fine. I'm not very excited about that <laughs> I am very excited about that however and let's go to game two okay <laughs> oh man oh boy good times guys we did it we made it to game two Black green, huh? Destroys an enchantment. We saw one enchantment, right? And they can just sack it in response. Um, pro black, pro, pro red. I like that over Crip Sliver because I think Crip Sliver is actually kind of garbage. I think I got initially so excited about Abzan Banner because it let us splash Shambling Shell and Centaur. But um, we didn't do that, so we might as well just play the Lantern. A good card to have, a terrible card to play against. I don't know what you're referring to. That could that that's that could describe lots of cards. Uh, 
I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> but remember, doesn't tap. Also, this is just a card we can get back with uh, our prowess guys. That guy's good. I like that guy. Okay. Play this guy. Hmm. I feel like giving our creatures pro black against the black green deck is fine. I mean, I'd rather be pro green, pro black, but... That sounds like a... Uh, I guess that card doesn't exist, right? Because white would, would be allied with green. Blue would be allied with black. Red would be allied with black, so... It's also a sword that... Uh, black, green... No, that exists. Never mind. Quest of the Gem Blades. Hmm. <laughs> All we need is one land the next turn. I don't think I'm asking for a lot. I mean, if this guy attacks, we're definitely blocking it. You can get your, you can get your quest done. I got a baffling end. Oh, that card's good. Oh boy, is that good. Oh boy, that's awkward. Yep, that card's absolutely miserable to deal with. <sighs> I mean, I guess we have... Ugh, God, if they attack next turn, it goes to five. And then we play Debtor's Transport, and it doesn't actually kill it. Eh, it's fun. If we block with this guy, this is a 5-5. Five, five. This becomes a 4-5. So again, no bueno. Yep, guess we're just attacking here. War Chanter of Mogus. Whenever a War Chanter of Mogus becomes untapped, target creature you control gets intimidate. Sure. <sighs> wow. This card is absolutely bananas. Was always charm looking pretty shit right now. George, George, five, six, seven. This is a five, five. Yep. Gets Intimidate. Your creatures that share a color with it. <laughs> yep. Pretty sure this does not work the way you think it works. Yeah. <laughs> like, by the time this is on the stack... It's too late to crew, so. The problem is we don't have an answer for this. None of our enchantments are going to work with it. What a fucking terrible design. Oh my god. Cool. I just keep drawing cards that are like bigger than it sometimes. So now it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I guess this is two big enough creatures. I'll just ditch Crown of All here. Actually, Charm is probably worse, right? 
Because I think the crown, like, this guy gives himself Intimidate in the future, and if they put the counters on it, it's a 7-7 seven, seven with Intimidate, so I'd like to have a black creature to block it. You creeping in here? I hear you. I hear Hunter, anyway. Hello? Yep, there you are. <laughs> you, were, you were trying to be sneaky. No, I was just creeping around. That's Isn't that the definition? Oh, shit. Did you take this one? Yeah. I mean, earlier I did. Um, You didn't, did you? Yep, okay. Um, Well, that's cool that they always have these removal spells. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. I don't feel like hoping I draw an answer next turn. And Yep, cool. Still wish I had an answer for artifacts. <laughs> that would be great. It's so, it's so stupid. What a dumb card. What an absolutely moronic card. Hopefully we draw lands, because I think this hand's pretty good if we can hit like two lands. That's not a land, that's a five drop. Well, I'm already I'm already given up. I've already resigned myself to defeat here. Yeah, okay. Send them on down to rent train. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> Hello? Yes, dear. For real? Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, another. Oh, we're having a good time. You know, this is not, uh, not ideal here. No? Don't, don't think so. Yep, that's not. Oh. Hunter. Quit. Thank you. Oh, good, they have it both games. How nice. How nice. Well... Cool. Let's go to the next round where we can actually play the fucking game. That would be great. You know. If that happens, that is. Hmm. Got a little got a little some got some ridges over here. It might be the hat blocking the light, unfortunately. Even though you lost, at least you're having fun. He's not. Disagree. There's just some cards that are literally not fun to play against. And uh, I feel like if, if I was in play design, I would make sure if I'm playing against someone in my testing, uh, if I played against this card that was fucking miserable, I would probably change it so that it's less miserable for the people playing. I don't know. But maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a dummy. <laughs> it's like... He's big mad. Maybe I'm just stupid, I guess, and I just, like, I consider fun a... Uh, a sizable aspect of the Magic the Gathering experience. You know. This gonna... is the way in our household that we symbolize that somebody's really mad. We just point to them and go, big mad. These are my eyebrows, but you can't see. Yeah, you can't. Big mad. You Hello, dummy. chat. What is this, a 1-1? One, one? You made a 1-1? One, one? Oh, wow, 1-1. One, one. Are you okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can draw lands this game. What do you think? What's your money on? Do you want my honest opinion or my optimistic opinion? Your honest opinion. No. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
it's kind of like a land because it reduces the cost of your auras by one. You don't have any, but if you did, it would reduce it by one. When did Mike get here? <laughs> God damn. It makes you feel better I died in Dark Souls right before a bonfire. A, I don't know what that means because I don't play Dark Souls. B, no. That's such a weird thing to say, like, if it makes you feel better. Like, no, dude. Other people also having miserable experiences does not make me feel better ever. I'm never like, oh, thank goodness, I'm not the only miserable person. That's such a weird... It's I've such... tried that one before, top boss. Don't worry about it. It's But it's just, like, like it's such a weird thing. Like, why is that a thing, like, where people... I think because people a lot of times bond over, like, commiseration. Like, they commiserate together and... That's stupid. That's, like, that's like all of internship. That sounded exactly like Franklin Four. You know how Franklin Four always says, "Meh, I'm Franklin Four, meh." <laughs> oh man, I took it very seriously. I'm very literal, okay? He's very literal. What is this? A dinosaur? Raptor. <laughs> that was very good. Are you done doing your books? Um. Yes, I made my schedule and I read one article for this week. So I'm gonna read another one before bed, and then my last one tomorrow night. Oh my god, we're hitting so many lands. Can you even believe it? Oh, bees. This is what Katie contributes to the stream. It's not much. It's all she's got. If it makes you feel better, I have a car battery connected to my nipples. <laughs> that did make them feel better. If it makes you feel any better, I shit myself earlier today. Mm. I never cleaned it up. That's too dark, Toasty Bear. I'm not reading that. Oh. Mm. Oh dear, no, no, it, it don't. Okay, so they're attacking with their 3 4. I have a 6 6. I'm going to assume. They got a trick I'm going to assume you got some kind of bullshit here that you're trying to pull. Or are they just trying to bluff you? Well, you know what? You did it. Arctic Adventure, you converted your Prime sub into a tier 1 sub? What? I think I need a resub. You know, you probably do. Okay, when this guy dies, make an XX elemental where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Zero. Well, he's going to die though, right? So he's going to be one. Like, one. <laughs> <laughs> Magic the Gathering judge, Katie Neal, ladies and gentlemen. If it makes you feel better, you could be Ben Shapiro's doctor wife. That would not. No. No. I think I'm just going to pass here. I got two tricks and I don't feel safe dealing with a bunch of three fours. You can't be regenerated. What are we playing? Chaos Draft. Interesting. You know Chaos Draft. No. Yes, you do. You've worked at events and things. It's where you. No. Everybody gets three. Oh, a taunting elf. Oh, a taunting elf. If it makes you feel any better, I'm a 36 year old with a 16 year old body. Hold on a second. I'll open the freezer and show you. Oh, dear got very dark it's a yikes from me dog it's a real big yikes from all of us here at here at franklin poor incorporated the studio oh look at this little guy zoom in on that guy make him big oh yeah you go little guy <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh boy oh boy oh, oh. that's mickey mouse do you know mickey mouse i'm familiar have you heard of him remember that time that we were at disney world Fucking, that was wonderful. I miss it. The land of Mickey. If it makes you feel better, we all love you. Man, you know what? That act, that actually does. I tried to gift this sub to the community, but converted my prime sub to a tier one instead. <laughs> was that an, so it was an accident? Because that's pretty funny if it was just an accident. What is this noise you're making? I burped. Oh, it sounded like piggy noise. Where you're like, I'm not a hunter. Well, you never know. Malak. Oh, Arctic Avenger giving out the gifted sub anyway. Michael's like, you want barbecue tonight? I was like, I do. I really do. I've been craving it. But I also like, I feel like I'm not hungry at all right now. Yeah. But I'm not going to pass it up either. So it's just a weird, it's a weird situation. Did you know, he goes to work tomorrow. And you could also get barbecue tomorrow. What do I get tonight then? You want to eat some more pasta? I feel like we should no, because I just had Carabas last night. Okay, chat. And today. First we, made, first we made homemade pasta. And by homemade pasta, I do not mean the noodles. I mean 
we made pasta at our house. Yeah. We didn't, like, make the pasta ourselves. Who's got the time? We didn't make the sauce ourselves either, so it was real. None of it was made by home. We just, it was just a meal. We just mixed it together. Like you do. Then we had carabas. Then Franklin had carabas for breakfast. So it only makes sense that you should have carabas for lunch, too. Or dinner. Your pasta intake <laughs> and have it again for dinner. Does that only make sense? I'm going to attack with this guy. If they trade with any one of these three, it's fine. Oh, shit. They're doing some nonsense. Oh, boy. That's... If you do want barbecue, you're going to have to tell him what you want real soon. Oh, shit, it's 5.30? What? I didn't even realize what time it was. This is my first draft. God, I'm like an hour and 42 minutes already and like on the third round. Well, that's going to be hard to beat. Yes, I had gluten-free pasta. Uh, that's his girlfriend pasta? And yes, we did have it. I had it with my girlfriend. That's true. But he had gluten-filled pasta. Oh, yeah, it was oozing with it. I, every bite, I, I would feel the gluten squirt in my mouth. And I was like, God, I wish I had gluten. You have gluten literally every other day. It's not like you're you're not like someone who's deprived of gluten. You literally had a I meal yesterday. A yeah, but you still have it. Well, it's just so tasty. It is, it's very good. It adds a lot to the to the products that it it resides in. I would feel a lot better overall if I didn't do that, but would my tongue? No, my no. little taste buds would be like. Did you? Feed me the did you take your? Yeah. Okay. And your other? Yeah. Okay. And your other? Yep. Okay. What about the other one? No, three was my limit. Okay. <laughs> Confirmed celiacs from the biopsy. Oh, Mitch, dude, I'm so sorry, buddy. But at least you know, I guess. Yeah, that sucks. If it makes you feel any better, at least you know. See what I did there? I'm on a gluten-only diet. I, um, if you ever want to be Facebook friends and talk about gluten-free recipes and things, we could, we could do that. I don't like to be Facebook friends with many people, but I don't like to be your friend. <laughs> this is tough because they got this stupid vigilant idiot, a vigil idiot, if you will. Would you call him the village idiot? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was funny. Oh, nice. I meant reach. I said vigilance, but I meant reach, so... I didn't know what he did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when he what's, dies, he gets some 1-1. One, one. What sets is a cast ref? I have no idea. <laughs> I would have to... You want me to name, like, 24 sets? Come on, Basic Swamps. This one, 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 and this one. I don't think that's a... I don't think that's an easy, easy answer, easy answerable question. Oh, what are you killing right now? A hundred percent disability for celiac. Oh, they're just killing my alms beast. I want to get disability. Wow. I want to get disability. <laughs> I actually probably don't. I don't really know what that involves, but. Uh, if we attack and they block, it's still a two for one, and then they still get a three three out of it. So like that just doesn't seem great. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, 100% disability for celiac seems wild, but not surprising with the weirdness that is American healthcare. American healthcare. Oh, you're going to put that guy in the front, huh? Put that guy in the front. This guy in the back. Get on the right train. Go on the attack. <laughs> All right. I like it when you laugh at my bad songs. Oh, boy. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? Oh, like red puncturing light wrong. Never mind. I'm, a f I'm an absolute idiot. I deserve to lose this game now. Yep. That's really... I keep thinking Puncture Link is dealing three damage and not fucking destroying the creature flat out. That's really frustrating. I mean, it's my own fault, obviously, but... Ooh. 
Yeah, I should have done this like four turns ago and then just like puncturing light of the dude. Yeah, that's really frustrating. You could puncturing light that guy. <laughs> it's true, yes. Also this guy. I also was really upset. Guy. I was like, man, I can't do anything about this raptor because it got four toughness. Oh. oh God. This is what it's like to be a absolute momo. Mer. Hunter agrees. I still have to finish Avatar. And then I can start Legend of Korra. I feel like you got a ways to go, right? No, I'm on the last season. How many seasons are there? Three. But I'm like halfway through that one. Cool. Super cool. I don't think it was. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, you get a little skull tap. That's true. You gonna tap him on his skull? <laughs> it's a possibility. Let's see that skull tap art. It's really <laughs> weird. I could be her for Halloween. You don't have to be. Don't worry about all that. I'm gonna be a Jedi. Is that true? You don't remember? I mean, the funny thing is, we're really not that far behind, so. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Who are you talking to? What's going on? Yeah, that's that's static suicide. I was like, I didn't want everybody thinking they could just friend me. Well, that's right. Pay costs. Okay, you buffed it up. Okay, wait, that's okay. Why didn't you attack with this too? Did they? I think they did, actually. I tried to tag Moochel in a dog spotting post earlier. He won't let me do it. It's going to be Land Ulamog's Crusher. Well, I was halfway there. Living on a prayer. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang. Ow, bobble, 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 bobble. You know that song? I'm familiar. Okay. Just be like Mike and give out your number to everyone. Mm. Definitely don't do that. I got a random Twitter message request from somebody who doesn't follow me who's like, hey, I see you're a veterinarian. I have a pit bull. Can I ask you a question? And I was like, no. Did you say no or did you just not respond? I blocked it. Ugh, God. I mean, it feels cold, but it's also like, dude, like if I answer every question, like I don't have any free time and I don't have <laughs> yeah. a life and like. And I don't pay any more towards my student debt that's accumulating. Unfortunately. Grushin better but different <laughs> yeah it might be really changed his form sure tastes like it's made out of sun the way it burns my throat <laughs> oh good yep that'll do perfect draws I mean, we messed up a lot but whatever pro red huh Everything of just offering to do it at some absurd cons consulting fee. Um. I mean, that's not my job, though. Like, I feel like I'd have to respond to them, then well, I'd have to engage your... with them, and then I'd have to be like, I charge this much, and then they'd have to yell at me and tell me that I'm greedy, and I just... I think if people ask you, you could be like, yeah, I mean, I give unsolicited vet advice for 20 bucks. I think you could actually make a per is that like is that like illegal not like illegal but is that like against some kind of veterinary oath? Well, since COVID, they enacted a new thing about telemedicine. I'd have to read it and look at what the guidelines. Because I mean, like, I feel like that's an easy way to get like twenty bucks, and people I think people would be willing to be like, here's twenty bucks if you can just give me an idea of what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like most of the time they're like, 
My dog is puking, and I'm like, okay, let me tell you the 25,000 things that cause a dog to puke. Well, and right. And I'll list them out categorically. Like, that's, like, you know what I mean? I feel like but that's without fine. But that's that's patient, the But that's hard. the the cost, right? Like, I mean, you can't help what the what the diagnosis is or how, how broad, or not broad, broad it, is. it is. Right, exactly. Like, they're still paying for your time. There's no guarantee of results because it's only 20 bucks and it's just like a literally an internet... And then I tell him to go to the vet. <laughs> but but there's a difference if like if it, there's definitely things where they could be like, oh yeah, you could just yeah just let him just give him rest and make sure he has plenty of fluids, right? And then like he'll be fine in a couple of days. Yeah. But then there's other things where it's like you need to take him to the vet right now, and like I think knowing that is definitely relevant, you know. But hmm. you know what do I know? If Sunny D has burned your pet's throat, make sure to rinse vicariously with fluid without drowning your pet. And by fluid, I mean water. That's what I do. I don't think vicariously is the word you're looking for there. Vigorously. That's what I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I was like, rinse? How do you rinse something vicariously? Why does Sunny D exist? It burns your throat. This is a good... <laughs> He's just having fun. He's he's just having a good time. I found something quieter to chew on. It's still surprisingly loud. <laughs> what? How, how you doing? Good. It's a weird way to sit, but okay. Would you own a dog if it contract COVID? If it could contract COVID, if it already contracted COVID, I don't really understand that question. Can animal, animals transmit COVID from, from dog to human, or is it just human to... Um, the most recent thing I read... Because the bat transmuted from, from animal to person, right? Transmitted COVID? What? COVID? Yeah, that's how it started, yes. Oh, I didn't ever read about that. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't even know. I just thought it was here. I think there's been like, I don't know, three or four confirmed cases of COVID in a dog across the world. That I've, But I think, I don't think any of them have no, been known to transmit it back to a human. I think only humans have transmitted it to them. I'm not gonna block your guy that can get death touch according to the FDA no but I feel like I trust the FDA less and less as time goes on as time goes by I mean, I do own three dogs, and they could all contract COVID. <laughs> so I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> and if they're going to get COVID, it would most likely be from me. The dog? Yeah. Dang. Because you have COVID? Yeah. Dang. I feel like you really should have disclosed this to me. Maybe. Well, nothing you can do now. I mean, it's a HIPAA violation, so nobody ever gets to know. This is the third time this builder's on the stern creature you're trying for a strike. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is just the better creature to block, even though I'm sure this is not going to go. Yeah, figured. <laughs> Are they sure it was a bat? I thought there were a few possible animals still. Yeah, I didn't ever hear anything about a bat, but... Really? Are you guys serious right now? I mean, I was also working a thousand hours a week and just trying to stay alive, so I don't really do. Here's how the science. how scientists knew know the coronavirus came from bats. Like, okay, is that a is that a reputable source? Uh, COVID nineteen infectious coronavirus circulating in bats. Bats offer clues to treating COVID. I guess I'm. I mean, it was in a, it was it was at a Wuhan market. Like it was bat meat. Like bat meat. They ate a bat. COVID nineteen originated in bats. Can infect cats. Originated in bats. 
but can infect cats. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's the COVID song. Sorry, I shouldn't have made quite of COVID. It's not funny. Yeah, I think you should leave. Well, I didn't say that. Okay. I see. Um, to our knowledge, they cannot pass it along. Um, our hospital categorizes every animal into low risk or high risk. If the animal is high risk, that means they come from a household that has a positive case of COVID. And we completely, like, sanitize the animal before... Guys, look at all this free vet information you're getting right now. Examining them. But to our knowledge, they can't pass it along. It just hasn't been proven that they can't, so... Better to be cautious than... Coveted. <laughs> Would you rather be cautiouses or coveteds? Ooh, there's a theory that it escaped from a Chinese virology research lab. That's yeah, that theory is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Can you imagine if it did? I'd be so mad at the Chinese for taking away my Applebee's for this long. Pangolins. <laughs> this is wild. I don't know. I mean, like, the thing is, like, the like they could still, in a month from now, like, they could be like, oh, we actually found out it wasn't a bat. But, like, everything I've heard was that it was a bat in a Chinese market. Yeah, I mean, they say if you come up positive, you're supposed to quarantine from every living thing in your house. So not just the people, but also your animals. But it's also, like, the more at-risk animals that are the Apple ones that thing you're missing it. the most? No, Kurt, that was a joke. That's what's known as a joke. I'm actually just going to kill this now. Oh, yeah. I was going to look up where Pita Pit is. There is no Pita Pit around here. I guarantee it. Pita Pit's just a chalupa, right? You just make your own chalupa? You make your own pita. It's a chalupa. Can you guys tell me what the outside of a chalupa is? What's the bread? <laughs> I hate you right now. No, I don't know. Is it a pita? It, it tastes like a pita. It tastes like a fried pita. Look how close it is. I can't see. That doesn't look close this at all. This is us. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> no. Oh, that's the only one in all of Denver. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I guess we're just playing Crusher here. That was a good... That was a good landy boy that we just hit. Probably fat tortilla. I definitely don't think it's non. It's similar to a pita. I'm pretty sure a fat tortilla is a pita. I think... Chal aren't chalupas other places that aren't Taco Bell? I'm pretty sure chalupa is exclusive. I've never heard of a chalupa outside of Taco Bell. Oh, I don't know. If you go to a Mexican restaurant, order a chalupa. Fucking oh. Garrick Wildspeaker? That boy's good. I'm going to steal it with Enslave. Okay. I can't. I'm just kidding. Okay. Beard. For each card in the graveyard. Interesting. Yeah, it's an 04. <laughs> it's got a Cthulhu on his, on his back. Yeah, but if he attacks. It'd take three. It's a 3-4 right now, but it has to deal. It can't deal damage to creatures. Know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. Okay. There's a pizza place where I live that uses non bread and it has an Eastern Indian flair. They just conceded. They can't deal with enslave in a little even if they got a even if they got a planeswalker. You ever you ever had planeswalker before? Can you make that ogre big? He looks cute. Pol poison belly? Polson belly. Poison belly. Polson belly? <laughs> <laughs> That's old Polson belly, you know Polson. Here, this this looks cute in term in in. This is literally just Mike B's invitation. <laughs> I was gonna say he looks like Mike B when he's watching TV. <laughs> but I was gonna whisper it to you, so it wasn't so obvious. <sighs> no, everybody, no one cares. Michael B has this problem where, like, when he's sitting down watching TV in the chair. His shirt will pop up like he's Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> Do you get that reference? Yeah. 
I haven't seen much Aqua Teen, but... That's okay. This is all you need to know. And they were always like, Michael, your belly. And then he just pulls it down over his... Over his belly, I guess. This is Michael watching TV. Oh, dang it. You're gonna... Why can't you just save an image? Why is it so hard for you? Carl. There you go, Michael B. He's not that hairy, is he? I, you know, I don't know. I'm not. I'm unfamiliar with Michael B.'s hair level. Do you remember that time that you saw him? No, <laughs> and I never will. These are nice color sleeve that you have here. Yeah, those are my cube. Those are the ones that don't have cards I can upgrade. And then the one the other stack. Don't have cards that you can upgrade. I'm, I'm trying to upgrade my cards to uh, promos or extended arts. Oh. That keep, like, all the uh, text, you know, for the most part. So people still know what it does? Yeah, so people still know what it does, and I don't know non-foils. Yeah. So if there's, like, a promo version that looks good that's not a foil, and that isn't, like, a, like a full art cryptic command or something. You know, I like my full art cryptic commands. I do too, but but for a cube, I want it to be more inclusive. So like, if someone doesn't like, I don't want cryptic command of all cards. If we're like, what are the four modes again? I forgot. You know, that happened to me all the time in GPS. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, so I'm just like, I'd rather just avoid this, 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 and this. Would you like to see it on my phone so you can reference it later? <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Do, 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 do. Why do I have the Looney Tunes songs like that? Can you guys confirm? That one's not me. I don't know what this is, but I'm probably just going to baffling end it. Too bad this isn't an aura. Oh, what was it? Wood Cloaker? 3-3. Three, three, dark creature against Trample? Well, I got rid of a 3-3. Three, three, so that's kind of... Well, that's pretty nice. See, like right now, Guilt Fear is just an 0-4 with no... Uh... Look, it's actually a real Mexican thing from Wikipedia. A chalupa is a special dish of South Central... Oh. I was like, I'm pretty sure they're like at real Mexican places. I'm pretty sure when I went to Mexico... I've never they heard of... served chalupas. Oh, I bet they didn't. You're just humble bragging about going to Mexico. This is this is her. This is her humble brag. Oh, well, when I was in Mexico, actually, we had a... Who do I sound like? Chalupas there and uh, they're delicious. Who do I sound like? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's it's just Kerwin, but with Mexico instead of Japan. Yeah. yeah. Beginning of your upkeep details. This dude, this dude's real big. I don't know how to deal with that. I think we might have to, might have skull to skull tap yeah, him. Yeah, we might have to skull tap. But it's a sorcery, so I can't even block him from five to do it. So that's unfortunate. Oh boy. That's... So when I was in Japan, they didn't have <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. I think we'll ever see Kerwit again. God, I hope so, man. Kerwit, we have your... Oh, actually, Kerwit said um, recently... Your stretchy necky thing. Kerwit, what was the reason you might be able to visit? He's coming to visit? He did mention something. He was like, um, this might happen, so I might be able to come down and, and hang out. This is how we lose. Oh, they were gonna do renovations in his in his in his condo. So it was like So he has to live here? Yeah, he might just come live here, you know. Oh. We have to set up the bed for Jamie and Shelby. Are they coming? I think for one night. One more night. That's from Genesis. One more time. One more. Oh yeah, alright. We got the feeling. You hear that? Is? You don't know. I do, but it'll take me a moment. Really? So the thing is, is that I get really familiar with songs, and sometimes they're like an adaptation from somebody else who originally wrote the song, and then I can't even remember if they. I think it's Daft Punk. It is Daft Punk. That's very good. So proud. My pride is boundless. 
So like the other day in radiology, Layla was like, who sings this? And it was... Layla! Uh, uh, I can't remember what song it is. It was originally by Van Morrison, and I was like, I think it's Rod Stewart. And that's because the version I have on my phone is by Rod Stewart, but I also have Van Morrison, and she was like, no! I was like, oh, okay, I don't know. What song was it? You're never going to remember. Hold. Holding. Got me on my knees. Have I told you lately? Oh, that's Rod Stewart. Have I told you lately? You sing that all the time, too, or you used to. I know, but look at this. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Because you know the, the version you heard. I've heard both of these versions. No. Van Morrison's trash version. Oh, wow. You heard me. You're a rich girl. Ain't going too far. You know it don't matter anyway. There's a mock B. There's in the garbage can. That's pretty cool. Kerwood, do you own your... Thank you guys for watching. Slam those oh. like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at twitch.tv slash Poor, Cool Stuff Inc. Man Traders. Oh, crap. Chaos Draft is good times, and I'll see you later. Craptastic Draft.